Welcome back. Well, let's take you to the Rugby World Cup where South Africa's quarterfinal opposition will be known on Sunday whether or not the approaching typhoon disrupts the final pool games between hosts Japan and Scotland. At this stage, the two-time champions could face either Ireland, Japan or Scotland. Either way, the Springboks will be ready and waiting to face any challenger with an eye on the last four. CGTNC's Duplessis has more. South Africa's Rugby World Cup campaign has been far from flawless. The opening defeat to New Zealand has been followed by a succession of solid displays that have been effective and seeing the men in green and gold progress to their seventh consecutive World Cup quarter-final as runners-up in Pool B. And according to National Men's Sevens coach Neil Powell, the team will hit its straps sooner rather than later as the competition reaches its business end. Yeah, I think the Springers definitely got a good chance to, to win the World Cup and I think um, if they're honest with themselves and we're honest with ourselves, I think they haven't played um, to the best of their abilities. Um, I think it is a bit disruptive when you select different teams for different games. It almost feels like you can't uh, hit your strides and get into your continuity. And I think um, when the quarterfinals start, they will definitely um, select that best team and, and keep that same team throughout to, to the final. I don't care who you're getting in the quarterfinals, whether it's Ireland or whether it's going to be Japan or Scotland. Um, we need to win that. So that's knockout stages. We need to win our quarterfinals. We need to win the semifinals. And I believe we, we will get New Zealand in the final again. I believe that's going to be a different ball game. If we pitch up and make use of our opportunities and, and defend like we can and, 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 and keep to the, the structures, uh, I, I believe we can be successful and I believe um, the Springbok can live that, that William Webb Alice Cup at the end of the day. Like the former Springbok 7 skipper says, it's knockout rugby and the two-time world champions need to beat whoever they come up against going forward. Hopefully the typhoon that has wreaked havoc with some key fixtures dissipates and the focus can return to rugby and who will progress into the last four of the ninth edition of the Global Rugby Showpiece. CS2 plus C, CGTN, Johannesburg.